what I say is you can just use the generalized forms just to get a case number. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, and once, you get, once you get the case number, then you say, oh, I, I've got to amend my claim. Yeah. And, it, and then you, you amend the claim in the next day. Okay. And that's it. All right. Now, the the gentleman from Australia, I wish he could push star eight and maybe come up and uh, lay out some, what his situation in, in short shorthand terms is, and then uh, maybe get some guidance as to how to go. But he, if he would go to the Google Docs, then you, he'll have all 48 uh, items that you've put in so far. I mean, you may have put some more in after this, but... Yeah, but you, what I'm saying is you don't put all those notices in. That's right. You don't do them all at once. You, you're going no, to you don't. It, sometimes you don't have to do them at all. If they just accept the claim and they roll with it, that's fine. Okay. The claims are the only reason why you put notices in there is if somebody's trespassing. All right. In other words, it, it, just because somebody rolls past my driveway, I don't run out in the street and says, "Well, if you know if you pull your car into here, this is what's going to happen to you." It's like, well, dude, what makes you think I'm even going to do anything wrong? There you go. The, 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 you don't you don't have to list, make down a whole list of rules. You don't got to go out in front of your driveway and and write. 40 different pieces of paper on the front of your driveway that if somebody pulls in, is thinking about driving into your driveway, this is what's going to happen to them. That's ridiculous. Everybody knows what's going to happen. That's a premium thing. We'll come with lead yeah. paper. <laughs> Everybody knows what to do. So like I said, you wait for them to do something wrong. You don't go in and give them a whole bunch of notices. It's just Then you just look like a Nancy boy. If they know what's right from wrong. You do that. You, can you imagine the neighbor just puts up 40, 40 pill bullets and saying, I'm giving everybody notice. You trespass on I mean, This is what this means. This is what this means. This is what a house is. What a sidewalk is. This is what a window is. This is what a house is. Oh, stop! You're gonna look like a ridiculous neighbor. Very good. You just leave it alone. You just just say, okay, this is my house. That's all you got to tell people. Okay. They know it's your house. They know it's your case. They know it's your suit. They know what they're supposed to do and not do. So, like, I, I kind of heard you say something. The judge did this, or the clerk did this. Yeah, that's what. Nope. That was what you. Had, well, that's a, there's two or three pieces of paper in here. One has got the judge, and what he recommended, and it's got the prosecutor in here. It's been a while since I've looked at it, and then the prosecutor is coming back with a piece of paper. Meanwhile, you discuss with the clerk of the court what you want done and where he's to put it. And if the people look at your first piece of paper you put in, they'll see there's two dates on there. One is the date where he, when you put it in, it was file stamped, and the clerk kind of ran with it under the United States District Court. And then you talked to the clerk of the court uh, through your paperwork via notice, and the clerk refiled it into the proper court for that second date. That's what, as I understand, the first piece of paper. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, well, like I said, with, when it comes to when, when the United States, like, say anybody, and a court personnel is getting paid by the United States government. Their paycheck says United States government. They have to show where they've done work. They have to show where they should get their paycheck this week. So they're like, okay, this case came into our courthouse this week, so this is what we did. This is the work that we've done on this case this week. And I had to tell them, it's, it's just say that that's fine, that this is what you had to do to satisfy you, to get your paycheck, whatever, from the United States government. That's lovely. But this has, in my case, has absolutely nothing to do with the U.S. government. Not yet. So this, this is just, just between me and uh, DHR. This is just between me and another. the reason why people say, too, why do you do DHR? Because when I wrote to the DHR, when I wrote to the head of the DHR, when I wrote to their attorneys, they always answered back, the DHR believes it has done no wrong. So if it says the DHR believes it, it has done no wrong, that only a man could do right or wrong. An agency can't do right or wrong. An agency is just uh, letters on the side of a building. It's a man or a woman. They could have said, we don't believe any of our agents work for the agency has done anything wrong. No, it says the DHO believes it has done no wrong. Okay. So that would be like, like, I believe I've done no wrong. Only a man could have a belief. They could have wrote, they could have wrote uh, the, the office of the attorneys for the uh, DHO believes that the DHO has done no wrong. But no, it says the DHO believes it's done no wrong. 
So if it wants to act like a man, I want to treat it like a man. So before you put in the claim, you 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 wrote to them, which creates the notice. And what the, the which is one of the five rules I think I've pulled out is, is you sent them the notice, and then you sent them uh, maybe in the same piece of paper uh, the results of them not performing like they're supposed to. No, like I said to the people, I said, somebody, I was doing a show back then, and some clown called me up and says, they dismissed your case. I said, that's ridiculous. That They don't, they isn't even, it doesn't even make any sense to me. It's like saying pineapples dismissed my case. Who in particular? What does this say? He said, the magistrate. I said, okay, the only problem is the magistrate, if you look at the very first piece of paper the magistrate put in, he was asking in the very first paragraph who has control over this case. He said he doesn't know. It's uh, the United States government has control. He doesn't know if he has control. He doesn't know if I have control. He doesn't know who's got jurisdiction. So I wrote him a nice lovely letter back saying, don't worry about it. Don't sweat over it. There's no doubt about it. I have control over this case. This is my case. So then from the United States government's point of view, he had to, he had to sign off and says, the United States government and I, we have absolutely no jurisdiction to hear this matter. We have This is not our case. He has not surrendered this case to us. We have no right to view it. We have no right to make a ruling. We have nothing. So we're going to dismiss this out of the United States court system. And that's fine because I didn't deliver it to the United States court system. I delivered it to a public building in which federal rule, it's a federal court, not a federal government court. There's federal governments all over planet Earth. Mexico is a federal government. Call it the people in Canada. They'll tell you we got federal courts up here too. Yep. So I was saying it's not part of the United States government's corporation. The corporation known as the United States. It has nothing to do with that corporation. I'm not one of its chartered members. I'm not one of its citizens. I'm not asking mommy for help. Now, when you're a United States citizen... You file like a civil rights complaint. That's what they said. They said, I'm filing a civil rights complaint. They said, no, I'm not filing a civil rights complaint. It's because I have no civil rights. To have civil rights, it's a, uh, that'd be like saying uh, an Australian or, or, an, or an English person comes over here to the United States and says, well, they're violating my civil rights. And they'll say, you've got no civil rights because you're not a United States citizen. So in this case, I am not a United States citizen. I am simply a man. I'm not anything other than a man. There's no title. There's no. There's no. There's nothing to cloud. I have no titles. I'm not accepting any titles. I just. I am just known as a man. That's it. And I'm making a claim against another man. And that's it. So then, when I put my claim in, what happened was, the attorney for DHR said the DHR is an agency. I said, like, Oh, lovely. That's great. Now I'm going to find out who's in control of the agency, and I'm going to go after that. But until I found out that the DHR does not exist as flesh and blood, I had nobody to go after. Because I was just getting letters from DHR. So if all I'm getting is letters from DHR, and it's like, okay, who's responsible for this, this monster, this creation? Who's responsible for this agency? Who is in charge? Oh, it's the governor of the state of Alabama. Oh, he's the chief executive officer. Oh, good. Now I'm going to go after him. Now, now I'm looking at listening to Rod Class, in which his cases, they're stating that the agencies are not government agencies, and the governor's not in charge of the North Carolina uh, agencies. That's lovely. That's his belief. <laughs> in other words, the fellow that wrote him and told him that, that's his belief. That's 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 lovely. Now I'll convince the jury of that. I think I'll have a lot easier. I think I'll have a lot easier time convincing the jury that the governor is the, is the executive officer of all agencies within a state, because that's exactly what it says in their constitution. Okay, all right. It's all convincing the jury. But but the, but yet, even though the, even though the, the the judge or the prosecutor for the state side is. I'm the prosecutor. I know you're the prosecutor and, in your particular right. case. And, 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 right, and, and, the, and, the, and the jury's the judge. That's right. Yeah. That's it. So I have no idea where this rock class crazy shit's going. 
neither neither do we. <laughs> well, that's why that's why he's got an ankle bracelet on his ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's all over the map with this shit. Me, I'm very direct, very right to the point. Yeah. The government's going to have to come into the this this and answer me and say I have absolutely no control over that agency known as the DHR. Say, oh, good. Then if you don't have control of that agency, then I'm going to take control of it. I'm going to make a claim for it. Since it's out of control and nobody seems to want to claim it, I'm going to claim it. And believe me, somebody's going to step up and, and make claim that, no, 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 you can't because I, I, I control it. Oh, good. I was wondering who was controlling this crazy car that was driving down to my property without a driver, without a driver in it. Yeah, he, he knows you guys sit behind the wheel, right? <laughs> right, there's nobody behind the wheel, and I'm jumping in it because it's going to run over my livestock or my or my house. I'm going to I'm going to do what is necessary and proper to protect my my self interest. So if this agency is just running hog wild and nobody's going to take control of it, I'll take control of it and I'll put it back on course. I'll I'll, I'll govern it. If the governor doesn't want to govern it, I'll govern it. It's that simple. And the man who created these governments, man controls the governments, and if no man wants to come forth and make a claim that it's in control of this creation of creation monster, I'm gonna I'm gonna claim it. Yeah. 